hello everyone welcome to the channel it's rad and uh this is gonna be a monthly tarot reading for gemini sun moon and also gemini rising uh for the month of november 2022 and uh if you do wish uh, to have a personal reading with me you can always go to my uh website uh, which uh, link you are going to find in the description down below and uh, if you do want as well be the youtube algorithm and not allowing it to decide uh what do you want to watch subscribe for the channel and as well hit the notification bell so with that said enough shuffling let's uh do the cut and uh see what you got so the first one for you gemini that's going to be the two of wands uh followed by the second card uh which stands as the five of wands Moving on next, uh, we do have the Three of Swords and uh, the final card for you, Gemini, that's going to be the Page of Wands. All right, uh, very active month, it is what I can say from only the first four uh, cards. I'm going to draw catalysts afterwards. So a very active month. Now, after the middle of the month, things are going to get a little bit more difficult for you. Now, just because we do have the Three of Swords, that doesn't mean that much yet. Okay, before I draw the additional card. But what I can tell you, it is uh, from these uh, cards, it is that towards the middle of the month, you may mishandle certain opportunities and you may regret that later on a later stage. But, there, but the things are not going to be without a possibility for you to make a reversal. So you can definitely catch up. And we're going to see how difficult this is going to be for you in the process of uh, the reading itself. So starting up the month here with the two of wands, the additional card for you guys is going to be the page of uh, pentacles. We do have these, um, these couple of cards, active neutrals. And what happens at the start of the month is that you are going to find yourself having a good progress with the endeavors which you are undertaking at the end of the month of October or from the middle of October to entering into the November. It's just you're going to make progress. Now, one of the two things are going to happen. Either you are not going to be happy with the progress itself. Uh, it's it's kind of like it will feel that you could have done more or you are going to see it like it's it's not worth it as much as you hoped for okay at that point now either case that uh, just because you're not happy with how far you are or you have a um perception that it isn't worth it okay that doesn't make it true for what those cards are showing here is that the accomplishments in the achievements you are sitting on are a good progression at least according to the tarot cards and you should not stop developing yourself and your way moving forward so those cards are literally are saying that within your business deals clients job whatever um, you are making a good advance and just because you're not happy with that advance it doesn't make it bad okay but your your perception our perception to the accomplishments you have it's it's a relative but in the overall in the grand scheme of things these cards are assuring you that you are doing a good job can it be better <sighs> now i'm gonna enter into the science explanation and i don't want to do that yes it can be better but by a small margin with a a large effort and it's simply it's not gonna worth it being better than it is right now and again not by much into the uh into the personal life with these couple of cards uh they are assuring that you are doing to the best of your abilities to keep up with the responsibilities that the other half of you or rather like your significant one is expecting should you not have any significant one here uh those cards are showing up that at the start of the month you are rising up into the eyes of someone that you want to rise up in and they are kind of like if they had an opinion that you are not good enough that opinion is starting to change maybe not fast enough by by your standards but nonetheless it's starting to change bottom line here with these two guard cards guys it is that you are doing a good job 
believe it or not, keep up doing it. So those accomplishments, they are not the end of the road, especially if you are happy from those accomplishments, which is uh, a bit unlikely, okay? And um, you need to keep up with the performance. You need to uh, aim to expand on those achievements and those accomplishments. And uh, afterwards, uh, we do have the Five of Wands uh, for you, which is catalyzed with the Six of Swords. Yeah, it's, it's how I do predict it, more or less, at the overview of the reading. So these uh, two cards. So what happens towards the middle of the month with uh, the Five of Wands and the Six of Swords it is that things are going to start speeding up. Now, while at the start of the month you had few accomplishments to take care of and to expand on them. Now things are start moving around everywhere, even at the places where you had everything dormant, where you do had everything idle and you didn't put much effort into it because you didn't, you know, you didn't need any uh, advance or any growth in there. Now you are seeing that you know, uh, the, the, the environment is starting to shift, is starting to change. It is just for some of you guys, you're going to uh, have that expression. My life is crazy right now. You know, there is so much going on. And uh, at some of those, uh, at, so, at some of those activities, at some of those shifts, you will have to make a move. It is just the, the universe is going to pressure you to make a move. You cannot sit idle. And uh, some of those moves are going to seem very risky. And that is because they are. They are very risky. So take it that way. Towards the middle of the month, you are go there are going to be quite of a, uh, surprising events here and there, especially into the places you do not anticipate it. You do not expect it that there is going to be any movement whatsoever. whatsoever. There is going to be any development whatsoever. But there are there is going to be a development and you have to take a part of it. Uh, those who are bold uh, are going to be rewarded with success according to these cards and those who are uh, hesitant there will be no success whatsoever and probably that is what you are going to regret afterwards we are going to see how that's going to play out in just a minute but for now towards the middle of the month uh, of the month what is important for you to know is that those um surprising turnarounds they are neither good neither bad it all comes to that what you are going to make of them okay and uh if you don't do anything about it then you are not going to make anything out of them and you are only going to lose and you're going to see that after the middle of the month but if you try even if it is a failing uh six of swords gives you the guarantee that you're not going to fall uh beneath your place that you have started in them so literally the only loss you're going to have if you try it is that you couldn't manifest it but you were not about to manifest it on the first place because you haven't expected any opening at that point i hope that uh, that makes sense and uh, another thing which is very prominent for these couple of cards it is that you may find yourself in between the hammer and the anvil in between two fighting parties two fighting forces um, take it that way for example you are in a team of five at your job right and two people from one side two people from another they are fighting about how one thing should, should, should go forward how one project should be performed and you take the positives of one of the parties the positive of the second of the party and you form an, an idea that everybody is going to agree with so you may end up being the peacemaker uh, towards the middle of the month not not just only into your career it could happen into your friendship circle or even you know into your personal life uh, with your beloved one they may be fighting with a family member or with a friend of theirs and, and you just end up to be the one who brings peace into the uh, into the situation and afterwards we do have the three of swords for you guys the catalyst is going to be the four of swords 
Uh, all right, so that's uh, a, bit, a little bit complicated. So we do have a active supporters here into this uh, into this position. So what happens? It's it's very much based on your previous development into the previous couple of cards. Long story short, here is that some kind of a negative thoughts are gonna settle down or are gonna try to settle down in your mind. Now they could be provoked from many things. Okay, um, I will give you a couple of examples. For example, they may be provoked because you end up developing very well with your current accomplishments, growing into your love life, growing into your career, and suddenly you do realize that you can lose that. It's not like right now you're going to lose it, but further down the road you can lose that, and that kind of like settles a negative thoughts. It could be that you face a a uh, uh, similar situation of the past, of your past rather, uh, that you have failed back in the days, now the situation arises one more time and you are afraid to fail again, All right? So again, negative thoughts. Bottom line is that after the middle of the month, you're going to have those doubts, you're going to have those um, those sites, so to speak, into the doom and gloom, whether in your career, whether in your uh, love life. And um, good thing about those two cards it is that with the Four of Swords, either you are going to seek a professional help about, or you're going to start deliberating on the matter with a, uh, a, a very loyal companion of yours. For example, if you are facing a similar situation of the past with within your business that you have tried to undertake yourself and you failed now you know that you are not up to that that's not your specialty so you are going to bring someone that can handle the situation some professional uh, <clears throat> that is just for an example but with the process of that whether it is through a loyal companion or whether it is through professional help the problem is going to be completely annihilated all right the, the, this is not going to be an issue or a problem for you anymore once you exert your um, your verdict here once you exert your action how you want to handle the situation if you do skip professional help or a faithful companion of yours and uh, then unfortunately things are not going to end up well for you for at least according to these cards uh first you are going to block yourself and not just only block but it will feel like you're making one step forward two step backwards so don't be afraid after the middle of november to seek help to seek um like i said again a professional one or a help of someone that you uh, that you already know and you trust that is also very important uh, another thing about these couple of cards is that you may hear some nasty things about yourself they're going to be said to you right in the face okay and uh, if you are really really bothered by them it will be best if you again you know talk with someone that you trust very much and they will if you can't convince yourself that you are none of those things you are named they are going to convince you uh they are going to convince you of that so many people interpret three of swords as a for example affair uh, it could be the fear of a fair, you know, you see those uh, so-called red flags and you start kind of like convincing yourself that your partner has an affair. Um, they may not have one, but the three of swords, it's, it's a sign that something is missing or rather like your partner is missing something. Uh, three of swords, it is the painful truth. And the painful truth doesn't have to be a fair. The painful truth could be that you are not uh, performing as well as you should. That's even more painful truth than an affair. And having the Four of Swords there, it's a sign for a open conversation. You just have to sit on the table and just talk with your beloved one and see what the problem is. Because with the Four of Swords being there, the problem can and should be solved. And you are ending the month here with a uh, page of wands. That's a person showing up for you guys with uh, the temperance card. 
So we do have another active supporters here. And this is a very, this is a person when they show up, first of all, they're going to bring a really, really positive news for you. Now that news could be literally anything, but the news, how it's going to influence you, it is that you're going to see that the things doesn't have to be as difficult and as hard as you thought they are going to be. This news is going to bring you the confidence that you can handle with it, whatever the, whatever the case, right? This, this news is going to, how can I put it into words? Um, it's going to make you aware how to exert the right actions or the, the right recipe for success, so to speak. As a properties, this person, it's not like they're going to be like you or I like you, like, you know, having the same interest and so on and so forth, but they're going to be open for your interest. They're going to be open to hear you out. And even if they do not agree with your opinion as of this moment, they are going to honor and respect your opinion. And of course, together you can, if not anything else, form a brilliant uh, friendship. By the way, Page of Wands, they are fantastic for having them as a friend because you're never going to get bored around them. They are silly, they are funny, they are also very active. Constantly, they're going to have some kind of an activity for you to, uh, for you to involve yourself into. Uh, they also can talk for multiple topics. Now, the, the issue with them, though, it is that although they may look very detached or rather like disconcerned about what other people think of them and about what other people do about or against them uh, within them they are very very fragile and the real uh, issue with having a friend page of wands it is that sometimes you may say something that you think it's completely okay to say, you know, it's completely fine. And this is how they behave, you know, that they are showing that anything you say, it's fine. I mean, they don't care, but they do. Uh, within them, they are very, very fragile. They do have that fragile soul. And uh, if, you know, some kind of a romantic uh, atmosphere is forming around you and that page of wands, be very careful uh, what kind of a criteria you set on them or rather like how you name them okay because they are it's it's not like they're gonna get mad on you it is just they are going to um, what is the English word here uh, they are going to feel bad generally uh, for uh, for how you see them it's just they are gonna blame themselves that they did that, that they was not the the love that they weren't better with you, right? That they didn't show a better light uh, in front of you. But from them, the only thing that you are going to see at least towards the end of the month, that is a compassion, solidarity. And if you do need help, help is going to come as well. And not just only that, but you're also going to see understanding and uh, respect based on uh, towards your opinion and towards your actions. So with that said, Gemini, that was your uh, monthly tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.